Howdy folks, Randy Anderson with you again here. I was going through some footage the other day and I found a couple of hunts I'd never put on uh, TV or on video. And they're both up in Canada, one's with Wooly and Pat Donovan. The other one's with uh, Wooly and his buddy Curtis Going. And uh, what's interesting here, they're both in the exact same spot, just a year apart. And what's kind of interesting is there's a creek that comes down kind of from the left and it circles in front of us. But we always have to wait for an east wind to hit this spot. And uh, what's interesting too, uh, we usually hunt in, I think both of these are in late October, and sometimes the, the creek behind her is froze and sometimes it's not. And so uh, the coyotes sometimes have to look for a place to cross, and there's usually a beaver dam or two up in there that they cross. But uh, we get a coyote to howl right away here on the first hunt with Pat, and it sounds like it's running around back in the trees trying to find a place to cross. Well, eventually it crosses, and... Uh, it's going to cross right out in front of old Pat Donovan. That 22-250 is going to bark. <laughs> i never seen a cow get so pooped out. Starting out on the alpha dog with some interrogation howls. The wind's right to left, a little bit in our face. That's Pat to my right. He's all fired up. Well, he's on my left. This is Pat's first set with a trigger stick. He likes it already. Oop, we got a coyote yipping at us across the creek. It's running back and forth in the trees. Now I'm going to play female invitation howls. See if I can get that young coyote to cross the creek. You must be looking for a beaver dam to cross. She must have seen us walk in I had just started playing Cottontail Distress when he must have found a place to cross coming in downwind. This one's there. He parted. I think he parted my right earlobe. <laughs> Man, that thing was loud. Oh yeah. Oh, see, we got nitro in that thing. About rocked my world. I, well, I felt a concussion over here. Did you? <laughs> well, he ripped it right by here. <laughs> it makes you shoot like you're 18 again. Is that right? <laughs> hey, that's a good commercial. <laughs> Just what I said, wasn't it, Wooly? A young female. Yep. Yeah. Looks like he's scared to touch it or what? I don't know what. <laughs> there he goes. Well, here we are now a year later with uh, Curtis going. And uh, what's kind of bad about this spot, as you can see on the first time, we're just sitting on a bare hill. To film, that's about the only place there is. You notice there's brush to the left. but. We get too far that way and coyotes do kind of come out sometimes and circle around to the right and we can't see that area. So we're sitting there and it's silhouetted to that where these coyotes are coming down the creek to the left. And so a lot of times they're going to see us. But uh, this is an interesting hunt here and uh, we're going to get a double on this one. And one coyote's coming in soaking wet.
Well, Wooly's setting on my left again a year later. Got a little breeze from the southeast, kind of like the last time. Not quite as hard. Kurt's on my right with a 243. A few minutes later now, Wooly's going to answer me on a little dog call. As I pan the camera around, Wooly's gonna see a coyote coming into the howls. There's one right there, Randy. Yeah, don't move, don't move. I'm trying some cottontail distress, but this coyote's already got his peg. I rolled him down the hill. I rolled him down the hill. <laughs> I turn on the pup distress, and Kurt said he just seen a coyote on the dead run come over that bare hill. There, he's going left. He's coming my way. Go ahead and turn, Kurt. Watch his head. He's still. That sucker's gonna go on the other side. Should I just stop him and shoot? Huh? Take your time. Shoot, shoot, Curtis. Shoot. Shoot, Curtis. Take your time. Good shot. All right. The old guide gets in on it. But he's coming hard, huh, Kurt? Yeah, he was coming. Didn't take him that long. Nope. The old pup in distress, huh? Yeah. Came right in, then he started going to Wooly's side, but... And then he bashed him with the 243. I did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wooly was drooling because he was getting closer to his side. Oh, I don't know. No, I, I, I thought he might come... Must be a beaver dam right there because he comes through this way. No, I mean once he got in here, he was circling oh, yeah. left. No, I, was, I was ready. I was, I was ready. I don't yeah. Know. But I put my finger in my right ear. Yep, me too. The you old know, 243 is a little louder than Wooly's little pea shooter there, that 2250. Hey, it does the job. <laughs> All right, boys, why don't you head out there? The old alpha dog, Kurt, there's a little button in the back, a little red, tip it up, see that? And then you just push on it, stick oh, yeah. your finger in there. All right, then you fold the speakers in, then lift the legs up over. There you go. Done deal. Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, we're again on a bare hill right there. We got two coyotes. This old mossy oak, this old mossy oak uh, brush. Been wearing it for years. Male. Good sized male. Yep. All right. Good shot. 150 yards. Well, that was off. Awesome. <laughs> James right ahead it, right? Now Woolies is where? Up on the hill or somewhere. Probably right? another 50 yards further. Yeah. Okay. Let's go find that one. Woolies is 211 yards. And it swam to get here. Look at that, all wet. Your wet hide. He swam the creek to come to that howl. 
All right, it's just a uh, dink, isn't it? A little or guy. Is it? Or is it just because he's a little female? A little female. So we'll drag him down by the other one. Well, we got a double. They didn't come together. Now, you folks that don't believe howling works, and if you read that stuff on the internet on the predator chat boards, they always say shouldn't howl a lot of them because they're afraid you'll never call a pup in. They don't want to come in because they're too aggressive and all that. That pup right there, we just howled a few times. I howled and Wooly was just answering me. He swam a little dam over there, actually beaver dam, fairly. Can you see it there? Yeah, yeah I filmed it. Sway soaking wet, the whole coyote. <laughs> just come to a howl. Then he got there, he's looking for the coyote that howled. And uh, we should have just howled again, but we're over there against that bare hill and we didn't want to, he'd look right at us and probably never come any closer anyway, which he didn't. Put on the little rabbit, a lot of times they'll take off for it, but he was just standing there and kind of turned a little bit, and barked and boom. Then did a little <laughs> pup distress and Kurt with his eagle eye. See that baby just a kiting, wasn't it? She was coming. Coming hard, hard, hard. And uh, it was smarter than the young one. It crossed the beaver dam, didn't it? Must be down there somewhere. Yeah, because it kind of went out of its way. I never did get it coming way back there, but because he's dry, <laughs> it's dry, and it, it knew where to cross the dam. So, but all right, that's how you do it, folks. Right there. Now these cows didn't howl like our first set. Yep. Didn't answer the howls or nothing. So you can't always go by that whether there are coyotes there or not. But use them howls or to your advantage. They may have been. May have, coyotes may have been called with somebody that's rabbit called and stuff. So that's why we always howl first and we give them time to come to them howls. They don't just rush and go right into rabbit. So and that's what we did there. Waited and it paid off big time. Yep. <laughs>